Many of us engage in what we call as well checks, which is where we go to the doctor once a year and check all kinds of vital signs, get poked and prodded, and have them check some blood work to make sure that we are living our best possible life. And if we are not, that they give us some advice on how to do this. So, you know, I had my lovely labs this week in in preparation for my appointment later this week. And it got me to thinking about in the Christian life, if we do the same kind of thing. So in a couple of places, it actually tells us about this kind of thing. We see in Proverbs 27, 17, that as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens the countenance of another. That's actually the condition of another, sharpening to make sure that that person is sound. It also tells us in James 5, 16, that we are to confess our sins to one another and pray for each other so that we may be healed and that the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. So a couple of thoughts on this. First, why are we more prone to to feel comfortable confessing things or submitting to examination of things by people who are more or less strangers to ourselves? In the body of Christ, especially in your local church, you would think that you would be able to find someone to whom you can be mutually accountable. And that is where you can condition each other, sharpen that countenance of each other, where you can pray for each other, where you can identify in yourself where you have areas you need to work on things and where they do the same. And then you pray for each other and grow in faith together. I would venture that because we don't do this as well as we should, we are not as strong as Christians, as we should be doing, as we should be. So maybe consider how you, this fall, find someone to sharpen you and allows you to sharpen them in return. Blessings on you today.